In this video, I'm going to demonstrate my implementation of a DIY motorized attachment for your camera slider. Here I'm using a Veravon slide cam light, but this design is so portable, it will easily work with any length and make of slider. The parts used include a 5 volt continuous rotation servo with a pulley wheel attached, a manual servo driver to control the direction and speed, four AA batteries for the power source, on the free end, I'm using another pulley wheel attached to an angle bracket. I used a metal framing tie plate cut to fit to connect to the slider. And lastly, a heavy-duty rubber band is perfect for attaching the motor. Using a rubber band has the bonus effect of providing just the right amount of tension between the drive pulley and the nylon line. The free pulley is attached to an angle bracket, which then mounts to the end of the rail using a quarter by 20 bolt. It is then locked in place using a thumb screw. On the slide cam light, both the pulleys are now lined up perfectly with the central axis of the rail, both horizontally and vertically. Here I've used a framing tie that I got from the local hardware store for 50 cents. I cut it to fit the slider plate and then just primed and painted it. The drive line is just nylon cord that I also painted black. Once the tripod head is screwed on tight, the plate is locked in place. The free end of the cord is attached to the plate and tensioned using a simple cord cinch, which is available at any hiking gear or fabric store. Since the servo controller is bi-directional, it passes through the stop position before changing directions. As a result, as you start the motor, it is a very smooth transition in speed from stop to full. To increase the friction between the drive pulley and the cord, I wrapped a rubber band tight around the groove in the pulley. As there's no special mounting tools or proprietary fittings involved here, this setup should work with any make or model of slider. <laughs> 